It's sort of like biting the tips off of asparagus and you leave the rest there, you trample it down with those big buffalo hooves, and that creates a virtuous cycle of the next crop of, of grasslands and, and native plants comes out. The, the roots get deeper, it pulls carbon deeper into the soil. And so this idea of moving your cows every day or two using just one line of electric fence to make them eat more like buffalo uh, turns out to have enormous benefits uh, for water retention. You know, it makes the soil more spongier for it holds on to rain and so we don't get these flash floods. Uh, it brings back wildlife. If you just, if you don't mow your fields the way most people do and turn it into hay, just let it go. Oh man, the birds go crazy. The plant life, the, the bug life, the microbes in the soil that keep us alive, that we, we don't appreciate it. And so there's this movement of, of uh, amp grazing, they call it. And it's, and it's, um, mobile paddocks just moving animals around and it just you know it got me excited because here's a new way to think about the debate over you know whether you should be guilty about having a cheeseburger or not and the farmers who are trying to do this trying to create healthier ecosystems and really are aware that it's more than just their commodity uh it's the entire ecosystem around them that can either benefit or suffer as a result of their practices that's a real movement that's that's uh, spreading so that was a that was an interesting story to tell Tell us a little bit about behind the scenes growing up. 